hello friends uh, welcome to my channel uh, so today i'll be uh, doing a comparison video for uh, hp pavilion x360 and a uh, new entrant in the two in one uh, market that is a yoga 530 from lenovo uh, when i bought purchased my uh, hp pavilion uh, laptop in around june uh, there was no such model yoga 530 uh, which had all these features uh, recent i'll go through that features uh, in a moment so at that time uh, this uh, model didn't exist so at that time only asus vivobook flip 14 and uh, hp pavilion x360 were the two comparable models and comparable comparably uh, priced so today i'll be uh, reviewing this uh, yoga 530 from lenovo i'll just do a comparison video and you can decide whether you have to go for this or the other one so the prices as you can see uh, starting from around 60 68000 now we'll just go through the features list so you can see from the uh, basic hardware structure the screen are uh, absolutely bezel-less like the sp sp series or the asus vivobook but the th good thing in uh, lenovo is even the top part of the bezel is very narrow whereas in the hp uh, pavilion as well as asus there is a top part which is slightly bigger than the side bezels now uh, almost all the laptops in this range you will find the same similar ports and all configuration so that is not a matter of uh, i mean differentiation uh, hardly they have same uh, usb 2 uh, two, 2 usb 3.0 ports one uh, usb type c port one full size hdmi slot so one more thing uh, in this laptop i want to point out is uh, you can see the vents here in the HP uh, series, uh, they don't have vents here in the side. So when you are using it in the tablet mode, maybe you'll feel the heat or the air, uh, hot air coming out of these vents. So they have vents in the sides as well as uh, on the under surface. So now coming uh, to this uh, pen uh, feature, you know absolutely they have uh, same touch and pen functionality. Now most of the I want to tell you is uh, most of these laptops uh, that two in one models, uh, most companies have uh, gone to the Entrig uh, pen uh, type. Um, rarely uh, few of the companies are using Wacom. Lenovo was is one uh, company which uses the Wacom series. I do not know exactly whether this is a Wacom pen or a uh, Entrig pen. In Entrig pen, I wanted to tell you is uh, the initial activation force the pressure needed uh, to start writing is slightly higher and it varies from pen to pen i mean the hp pen is uh, having a slightly uh, more initial activation force uh, so uh, i don't know whether this is a vacuum or a entry so if i get to know about this i'll uh, write in the description or update in the video so what exactly Entrick pen does is uh, it goes into low power mode so once you press the pen uh, against the screen uh, it comes out of its sleep or the low power mode and starts writing so that is a feature kind of feature to save the battery uh, now we'll coming uh, now we'll come to the uh, next features uh, you can see the specs what they mentioned is uh, core i7 and uh, nvidia geforce mx130 uh, this is the same mx130 that hp has uh, scattered i mean throughout his series uh, hp has a lot of models Whereas uh, Lenovo Yoga 530 is only available in three models in India, and MX 130 discrete graphics is available in only one model. So it is kind of a bummer for us. So let's see if uh, Lenovo updates or uh, gives us more uh, permutation and combination within the models. One more thing, very good point for uh, Lenovo will be uh, this is uh, 1.6 kg, same as HP, but the thickness you see it is around 17.6 millimeter whereas uh, the hp and uh, asus uh, uh, two in ones have around 19.1 to 19.2 millimeter so even though this feels like uh, hardly a 1.5 millimeter difference but if you actually carry this uh, laptop i mean hold it you will definitely feel a uh, uh, thinness so this is a point for uh, lenovo uh, for making it slightly more thinner than the hp or the uh, asus vivobook free protein and this 10 hour battery life almost all the companies uh, mention it as 10 hour battery life so exact value uh, of the battery i'll be telling you in the uh, next section when i see the detail manual they have mentioned that uh, the battery can recharge the uh, i mean the charger can recharge the laptop in 15 minutes uh, where you can use for another two hours one more thing uh, in this laptop good is uh, you can see the uh, fingerprint reader here so this fingerprint reader location is excellently uh, placed i mean this is a place where the fingerprint reader should be uh, and uh, so this is the fingerprint reader as you can see so this is a perfect location hp and uh, hp has uh, the uh, awkward position of uh, on the sides whereas uh, 
VivoBook Flip 14 and uh, Lenovo have done a better job of placing in the right position in the front of the chassis. Now coming to the ports, you can see two USB 3.0 ports scattered on both sides. So uh, like in previous generation, they were uh, putting both the USB ports side by side, which is a difficult position for other peripherals. So you find a SD card slot, USB port, USB type C and a audio and a HDMI port. So that's it. Now coming to the speakers, uh, speaker I want to tell you is uh, I have used HP Pavilion X360 and the speakers are really good. This Bang & Olufsen speakers are really really good as compared to a MacBook Pro or uh, similar laptops. Uh, because previously budget and mid segment laptops had very tinny and uh, poor audio quality. Whereas the Bang & Olufsen speakers are very good. In uh, Lenovo they have mentioned about Harman Kardon speakers. They must be good. Uh, I feel so because uh, almost all the laptops are now in the similar uh, game. So they have Harman Kardon uh, speakers along with uh, Dolby Audio Premium. Screen they have mentioned 250 nits. So it's not a very uh, high brightness screen. So same as HP. I had mentioned in my uh, video that uh, re review video of HP Pavilion X60 that uh, the screen is around 250 to 300 nits. So similarly bright uh, panels. But one thing I would like to uh, specify in Lenovo, in, uh, in favor of Lenovo, is that they have used an anti glare panel. Anti glare panel is a must because you can use it in sunlight. So, these are the reviews. Coming to this uh, specifications, you can see uh, one, uh, one point here that uh, they are using a 7th generation Intel Core i3, whereas uh, almost all the newer uh, HP and uh, Asus they are using a Core, I mean the 8th generation Core i3 that is 8130U. I don't know why they have done this. So HD screen, full HD, and uh, good thing or bad thing, I don't know. It's according to you. So good thing about Lenovo is that they have uh, fixed to only SSDs. They have not given any option for a hard disk drive. Hard disk drives, I feel, uh, even though we need a lot of storage for a cheap rate, but if you uh, ask me. This processor processes are very fast, but the bottleneck or the limiting factor will be the SSD because the hard disk drive is very slow. So, 99% people what with which with whom I have interacted in my uh, previous videos, no one wants to buy a SSD separately. They just want to buy the laptop and use as it is. No one wants to upgrade it immediately. So, in that case scenario, usually you will find that all the HP and ASUS uh, forums will be filled with lag problems mostly HP because HP uh, has SSDs only in selected models whereas the VivoBook Flip 14 comes with a standard 256 GB SSD and one 1 TB uh, hard disk drive whereas HP gives option of Intel Op 10 then uh, SSD as well as uh, SSDs so batteries around up to 12 hour, up to 10 hours same with all the three and uh, speakers I've already mentioned these are uh, Harman Kardon with uh, Dolby B audio premium they have mentioned optional finger re fingerprint reader but uh, I feel it is uh, available in all the three models in India. So in colors you will see one is black, grey as well as blue. In India uh, for the HP series you only have the option of mineral grey. Uh, here I think uh, both black and blue are available in India at least they have mentioned in the website in the India website. So I have already mentioned the pro point here is 17.6 uh, millimeter uh, of height or depth. So coming to the three models that are available in India, so one is 68, one is 70,000, one is 80,000. So you can see the first two models both are having same 256 GB SSD and uh, processors also remain same throughout this 3 3 series. I don't know why, uh, at least the three models that are available right now, all the three have Core i5-8250U uh, processor. And... Uh, all the three have same 8 GB RAM uh, that is DDR4 and 2400 megahertz frequency. So first two have 256 GB SSD and the third one has 512 5, 5, 5, uh, GB SSD. Uh, one more thing, uh, the NVIDIA GeForce MX130 discrete graphics card is only available in the uh, model uh, which is priced at 80,000 and with a 512 GB. Whereas HP gives a lot of uh, permutations and combinations uh, for this MX-130 if you want a core i3 8130 also they have option of MX-130 graphics card 
I don't know why Lenovo has done this. So they have uh, given the graphics card only in the top end model, uh, which is almost 80,000. 80,000 is um, going towards 1 lakh where you get the HP Spectre as well as Yoga 730 comes in at that budget around 99 like that. So that's that. Uh, rest all uh, remains same but in the current website you will see that they have not mentioned anything about the software whether the office uh, home 2016 comes free or not so now coming to the manual we'll see the uh, disassembly manual uh, i was just going through the manual to see exactly what is inside so they have mentioned that uh, they have the usb super speed uh, usb ports uh, and both the ports can charge your mobile even if the laptop is off if the laptop is having more than 20 percent of charge so that is also present in hp laptops because i have already checked that even if your laptop is off and your uh, laptop charge is high then it can charge your mobile phone so one more thing here uh, in the manual they have mentioned that uh, exactly it is uh, the battery capacity is 45 watt hour in HP as well as in Asus it is around 41 and 42 watt hour so there is not a much of a bigger difference there is hardly 3 to 4 uh, watt hour of difference so there won't be a major amount of uh, battery life available uh, in this model unless it is a 65 watt hour that is seen in HP Spectre or in a HP Envy uh, higher end models uh, they'll be having 65 watt hour and the battery life will, will uh, hover around 9 to 10 hours whereas in this 45 watt hour you'll find around 6 to 7 hours maximum the power adapter remains same 65 watt hour now coming to disassembly part there are 10 screws which have to be removed to, uh, to access this so once you remove the back cover uh, you can see the inside in inside of the laptop i what is um, what a good thing i saw in this uh, laptop is this is the battery pack you can see two fans on either side so i feel definitely this laptop will heat much lesser even though uh, for my laptop hp i have not um, got it to heat up as much as i want i mean i have pushed it to limits uh, with video editing but still it didn't heat up as much uh, as i was expecting like surface pro 4 used to heat a lot surface pro 3 used to heat a lot even macbook used to heat but my hp pavilion has not been pushed to the core uh, and that has a single fan and this has a dual fan so i think it's a very good feature that Lenovo has given us even xiaomi notebook pro has a dual fan setup but that is a 15.6 inch model uh, whereas in 13 and 14 inch models rarely any company gives two uh, fans so this is a very good uh, design from Lenovo's point of view but i don't see a uh, proper hard disk drive slot in the uh, laptop here you can see the speaker mount is on the lower side of the laptop i don't know why they have done this uh, so whenever you keep it on a table then the sound gets reflected but if you are using it on a uh, lap i mean on your lap or on your bed then i think sound will be getting obstructed i think it is kind of a design flaw so you, uh, other things are remaining same so there is a slot for ram i mean you can upgrade it as well as uh, the ssd you can upgrade if you are buying a 256 gb you can upgrade it to a 512 gb so this place vacant place i think it is a slot for a hard disk drive but i'm not sure because they have not mentioned it uh, in their manual so once i know i'll get back to you or update on my website coming to this uh, brochure of this uh, Lenovo 5 Yoga 530 I could download only the Yoga 530 which comes with a Ryzen uh, processor AMD Ryzen I could not uh, find a um, uh, manual or brochure for the uh, Intel processor laptops but basic features remain almost same here you can see in the brochure that uh, it comes with a Microsoft Office 365 30 day trial whereas they have not mentioned in the official website whether it is coming with a uh, free of um, office 2016 but when i searched in uh, amazon uh, website amazon india website you can see that they have mentioned that uh, model 530 with office home and student edition 2016 that comes free i do not know whether this is an add-on from the uh, official uh, lenovo uh, lenovo or this is an add-on from the company i mean the company selling the laptop other models i couldn't find uh, the latest models you can see the gen i3 lower one is the gen i3 7100 
and this is yoga 520 so this is the only model latest model i could uh, see on uh, amazon website which has the integrated mx 130 uh, graphics card not integrated discrete uh, graphics card and is only available in mineral gray so this is the highest end which uh, the lenovo website offers is at 79999 so around 80000 so 6000 increase i do not know whether this is for the office that they have bundled or it is from the company i don't know so i'll be checking that again if there is any price fluctuation now i have opened that uh, link uh, of that uh, you know yoga 530 uh, which it was which was listed and it is not sold by the cloud tell i mean that amazon official website so this is uh, sold by some sigma it underscore slc and fulfilled by amazon so you can just wait and watch whether the price reduces uh, rest you are seeing that this comes with that uh, uh, nvidia g4 mx 130 and 512 gb of ssd so this much for this video uh, if you found it useful uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you